Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So we're back once again taking a look at some amazing community creations, and this one is the Monarch Assault Carrier, and this is produced by Lemon, and there's something about a black ship that is super scary. And on the other hand, I don't cover many black ships because they really tend to blend into the skybox, and if you're building a ship for a multiplayer scenario or a PvP battle, you might want to consider black as a ship colour choice. Yes, it doesn't show off the lines and all the design that's gone into it, but you can certainly be quite stealthy with it. So right at the front here, you can see I've put my character just in place to get a scale of this particular ship. And this hangar runs all the way through from the front towards th probably three quarters of the way through towards where the preliminary sort of bridge is there. And that front area that we just had a look at, if we spin around here, is not actually the hangar but the launch area and offers a little bit of protection for players or, or ships that are trying to whiz into the hangar bay and blow it up. We've all seen them Star Wars movies where ships try to get into an enemy hangar bay, land and then cause absolute havoc inside. But let's take a look at the design and the exterior of this ship. Now there's a few things that are going on the front here that are quite interesting. We've got these little antenna arrays. I'll turn my light on here just to try and reflect a bit more light off this design. It is hard because it's a darker colour. And they've also got this extended section along the top here to offer some sort of protection from top down attacks as um, other ships are coming in and leaving. You can see that's an extent there as well. So protecting that frontal anger from attacks. And I'm guessing that this ship is not going to be fighting head on with the enemy or else it's going to receive a lot of fire right into the mouth of it. Now backing up that theory, we have the armaments on the deck. Up front we've got this little recon turret, a little radar array with cameras and some sound blocks, some nicely tucked in thrusters there. And then as we work along the way, a lot of the detailing seems to be lost within the darkness of the armour. But you can see these lovely red Tron-like elements to it that just kind of stick out from the rest of the black. Now this ship would probably look even more beautiful if they had the Remove Armour Edges mod on, but just, uh, just a little bit of a... A thought there so we've got the array of turrets that are going on here and they're all staggered at quite a nice interval so they will be able to fire and engage targets at multiple angles and allow quite a nice volley you can see the connectors are connected up through the uh, through the middle here and they do have a self repairing system something you would really would want to consider if you are building a ship of any kind of space engineers can you keep them turrets online because that will keep you in the battle for longer now coming to this section heavy use of these little conveyor hatches up here to add some detail some finning and ribbing above these engine ports you can see the engine ports also took there nicely protected within the armored walls of the ship and as we duck ourselves in here, you can see these sloped segments of armour that have been attached onto the side here. Gyroscopes protected back there as well. In this section, we have got ourselves another barrage of turrets. So we've got three on the top deck there, followed by an interval of another four back here as well. So this is really quite deadly. And what I've seen a lot of players doing recently is using these larger turrets over Gatling guns because when they do connect a shot, they absolutely obliterate the target. Now up here, I'm not too sure if this was like a mini little landing bay to access the top of the ship here, but you can see that there's some com computers, remote turret controls, and like a little area that's been cleared here with some landing beacons. We'll have to come back and have a look what's accessible through that area in a moment. But as we continue to work our way back, we start to see the first of our iron thrusters. So we've got some iron thrusters tucked into the top slope of that deck as it slopes down. And down here, we have our custom turret gatling guns so these are triple well, quad barrels either side so we've got eight barrels in total and we've got an array of four of these on each side now these are really quite deadly i would say even more deadly than standard gatling gun turrets and if we bring ourselves under here you'll notice that we've got a completely different layout on the lower hull so the lower hull has all these connecting pods so that you could connect up fighters externally, perhaps for a re uh, refill, or something that a lot of players don't think about when building a carrier is if they want to add extra carrier or extra fighters and other elements to it before going to a battle, they can attach them to the outside, launch that as the first wave, and then launch the ones from inside as the second. So you can see the rest of the details we work our way up to the front. Very, very nice indeed. Now, there's some really cool details in the back segment here as we start to work into the thruster. Just look how intricate these thruster and sort of intake areas are. These large hydrogen thrusters are also going to provide with great stopping force. Pipes running up the side there, some detail in the side of the engine exposed. 
and then we've got the rear thrust pack exposed here underneath and you'll notice that these little engine base cells are spiraling off from the sides we'll take a look at them at a moment and the central hangar bay here as well i believe this is a production yard well we'll go in there and have a look in a minute i'm not going to expose that just yet coming up the side you can see we've got a little view window here more turrets and then as we get onto the top deck we start to come into the various control rooms and systems of the ship so we've got an initial sort of control room right there through the glass then we've got a secondary bridge more of these little observations some rotate radar arrays just for prettiness sake because they don't really do anything and as we come back we've got another bridge segment in this area now if i just zoom out for a second you'll see how this ship actually expands in this area it's actually got a lot wider and because of that that allows it to facilitate these engine bay pods this lovely sort of a three stripes adidas pattern on the side you've got some smoke coming up from i believe where the engine bay and the thrusters are leaving it from below and then you've got this really nice thruster pack this is a beautiful thruster pack in terms of a pack that's not been modded so it's a combination of both hydrogen and iron thrust with also some air vent blocks mixed in for good measure the engine bay cells on the side look really nice and look at these little turrets that have been hidden within these communication arrays you won't be getting close to this thing especially if it's protected by other ships now entering through the rear here you can see we've got this little production and repair bay maybe your fighter's been out on a run and it comes back damaged you could run it through this area quickly fix yourself up and then head on out there's lots of shelves and detail in this section as well so it's nice to have this quick access area i wonder how useful this would be in a functional sense having a quick repair bay on the lower part of your carrier if your carrier is at like a standoff distance and not in combat it'd probably be quite useful so let's go into the front hangar and then we'll start having a look around the interior so as we enter into the front hangar here you'll notice there is some button panels let's just have a quick look what these button panels actually do so we'll bring ourselves over to the character and they don't seem to be wired up to anything so no these button panels are just for looks at the moment in time they don't open anything up We've got this red and black ambience as the fighters launch with an arrow in direction and then as we come through the double airlock to keep enemies out we have access to the main hangar bay so the main hangar bay in here is capable of holding so what have we got we've got seven we've got, so, so is that four aside four aside large sort of fighters either side so that's pretty damn cool and then over in this area we have ourselves a few of these little details including pipes and uh, an explosive warning some warning signs around that but it's just really nice the combination of different blocks colors and these glows just lights up and creates an ambience within this hangar so up above here we've also got access to launch the hangars through the top if need be so maybe the front entrance is blocked or under fire you can see each of these little red circular areas is a launch bay very very cool let's drop ourselves back down and then we'll head over to the command center area so this area here you notice that these little blast pads are up so these little blast pads are protecting well people that are launching these ships so as the thrust is propelled against the back of these pads the ships go launching down just like a traditional aircraft carrier but from inside it's quite a cool idea it'd be interesting to see a real aircraft carrier with an internal launch but maybe it'd just be too dangerous coming through the airlock We've got some turrets, we've got some defences in case people try and breach through the hangar that would be a weak spot. And then as we access through the corridors we have various different rooms to either side. Some just simple cabins, some medical facilities here. And these areas lead up and around to the upper deck as well. So we've got lots of passages, lots of areas to fight around. They're very straight and narrow corridors. So coming up into here, just look at the ambience of each one of these rooms. We're not going to be able to see every single room on this ship. You can just see the ambience of this lovely rotating generator. Well, it's not a generator. I think it's a, a gravity cube, a gravity sort of circle that rotates the gravity. But continuing through, let's work our way to the end of this corridor and see what's in some of these other rooms. So we've got some crew quarters over here. And then dropping ourselves into this area, we've got another hallway access is this going to be some sort of bunk or a service maintenance tunnel? Or this leads to the other staircase that takes us back down a deck. We've got a little observation room over on this side. Very nice indeed. And then we're back. Now we are met with a, a wooden corridor because we're actually under the bridge area, I do believe, at the moment. We've got info board, floor one, all the contents of floor one. So there's a lot of different rooms. 
We've got the gravity generator, office hangars, server rooms, detention exit. Let's have a look. So we've got a little storage room over on this side. And another sort of storage room that looks like... Oh, so this is the detention area with a turret located outside to get them if they're trying to escape. And then is this an airlock towards the outside? Yes, it is. So you could bring your prisoners in through this side, lock them up, and keep them away from the rest of the ship. Very, very cool indeed. Now, there is an engine room that I really want to have a look at as well, but it's just navigating these ships. Here we go. Let's have a look. So we've got the server room in this area. Another lovely bit of blue lighting with this venting up here as well, creating this lovely ambient effect within this room. I'm hoping this is giving you some ideas for your own ships and interiors, because I know a lot of you guys t tell me that you struggle with building interiors of ships. So coming over here, we actually have the engine room. The combination of colour and the sparking blocks here really creates a lot of detail. I love how the sparks in space engineers seem to bounce off objects as well. So that should, well, that'll probably just be something that's dropping down from up here. Let's work our way up. So we've got another lovely reactor room. So that's a thruster that's turned off with an engine underneath. And these are sparking to create this really cool effect. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, absolutely beautiful. I love these ships when, they, when someone goes full out in the interior. Got a little bit of a server control room with the various jump drive statistics in there. Yeah, each room has been well planned out, well thought out and designed. Just where where do you start when it comes to building an interior of a ship like this? You've got so much space to to fill. So there we go. That is the main area of the ship. We've got access as well to a central engine room. I'm guessing in here as well. Maybe backup generators. Engines that are stacked up on top of each other. Let's head up to one of these little bridges and see what they do. Now, I'm guessing there's a command and control center somewhere as well. But what I really like is how these little turrets, or well, these little command seats, have these screens that drop down either side there as well. It's very futuristic. Oh, we're stuck in the roof. That's not good. Lower ourselves down. And jump in our seat. And let's see what this seat controls. So we'll check our systems. So this seat controls our main control. So we've got thrust. Let's have a look at our acceleration. Let's see what this ship can do. All right. So we're taking control of the ship. Acceleration. Oh, it's not too bad. It's moving pretty well for a ship of this size. Look at the gyroscope movement as well. The gyroscope movement. It does feel like a heavy ship. Acceleration is high. Deacceleration is going to be slow. With all these ships that we look at like this, you've, you've kind of got to expect a slow acceleration, slow deacceleration, because you're storing so much on board. When them small grids are attached as well, you're going to have other issues. So you can see the logo on the side there as well. Lovely. An absolute beautiful ship. This one's been a pleasure to look at. And I wouldn't really usually look at dark coloured ships like this because they're just so hard to stand out from the background. This is a real nice piece of design. I'd love to see how them Gatling gun turrets work. Anyway, let me know in the comment section what you think of this ship. Do you think it would be deadly in a PvP encounter? Or do you think it's more of a ship designed for looks?